So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter is Ali LaForce. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Joel Embiid. Just in regards to his defense, these past five games have not been his best. He's been a tad slow on rotations, and his block numbers have dipped. Maybe he can get on a roll tonight and pick up some blocks. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. We've got Maxi, Nicholas Batum out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Harris in at the two. And for New Orleans, Zion and Valanchunas in the middle. Brandon Ingram out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Jones in at the small forward position. Well, Grant, this is the type of game that may look lopsided, but as we've seen, anything can happen. Anything can definitely happen, B.A. And look, you have to understand that every guy in this league is talented. If you come in flat and those other guys are inspired, you can fall. But honestly, you shouldn't. It's all about handling your business. Philadelphia will get the first possession. McCullum against Maxi. Embiid a screen on McCullum. Here's Harris. Jones grabs the board. 
Pass to McCullum. Ingram with a screen on Harris. Oh, Covington with a block. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Covington. And here are the Pelicans now. The shot by Ingram, no good. Now Maxi. Embiid a screen on McCullum. Here's Maxi. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Check out Maxi with the throwdown. Boy, he can get off the ground quick. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Valanchunas with a screen on Harris. From downtown. And again, no good by New Orleans. About a minute into this first quarter. Outside Maxi. Drops in the three. Maxi's got five points. You got to get out on that if you're the defender. Maxi is very capable from beyond the arc. Alan Chunas with a screen on Harris. Ingram, the pass to Williamson. Outside Jones. Pass to Ingram. Six on the shot clock. Elbow shot. Here's Valanciunas. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Boy, the fifth time's the charm. That's a big basket there. Maxi against McCullum. Harris with it. The three is up. Another three for Philadelphia. You know, the mindset Harris has is one that allows him to be ready to shoot as soon as that ball touches his hands. Catch and fire. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Maxi passes to Embiid. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Embiid is a big man. Tall, wide, and deep. And because of this, he's so good at shielding off defenders. McCollum finds Ingram. Williamson right side from outside the arc. Oh, Covington with a block. Pass to Harris. Outside Maxi. The three-pointer off the mark. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Valanchunas passes to Williamson. Here's Ingram. Again, the Pelicans good for two. Ingram knocking down the long two. He's extremely effective from there. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And here's Harris outside. And the three-pointer goes. Harris has got six. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Harris against Ingram. And the foul called on Nick Batum. That's his first foul of the game. Now here's Valanchunas. Last game for him, he picked up 13. Just five on the clock. Valanchunas sets a screen for three. McCullum. And so far, they've done a great job of preventing points in the paint. I like the way they've kept them shooting jump shots. No coincidence to find them in the lead. Pass to Covington. Embiid inside. Defended by Jones. And the basket is good. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Pelicans. They trail by nine. They defeated Utah in their last game. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. And it was funny. The road arena didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed and got it done. Now here's Maxie. 
He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. Boy, I thought his passing was absolutely fantastic. I mean, really picked apart the defense all game long. From 12 feet, and it's New Orleans with another. Well, Zion rarely takes shots outside of the paint. It's good to see him expanding his range. Covington, a screen on McCollum. Pass to Embiid. Banked it in off the glass. Embiid's got six. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring. McCollum finds Williamson. McCollum outside. Out to the wing from the baseline. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Their first chance this season playing the Pelicans. Yes, yeah, surprised to split the season series last year. These guys have confidence in themselves against anyone they face. And you look at how they match up. Certainly you could see them losing, but you would still expect them to come away with two wins. And it's the Sixers with the ball. Following the score by New Orleans. Pass to Harris. Driving inside. And Harris throws it down. You know, we talk a lot about athleticism, guys. It's important. And right there, Harris used his well to create for himself. Now here's McCollum. You know, his stats have been solid. Averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Williamson against Covington. Pass to Maxey. Picked by Covington. Maxey surveys. Jacks up a three. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. For three. That one doesn't drop. The 76ers have got eight out of 12 shots to fall. Picked by Covington. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxey. Add that to his line. Now three for six. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. New Orleans calls timeout. And the Pelicans going with a whole new group out there. First in free throw shooting, and their ranking and lowest opponent scoring is second in the league. Their defense is more than an asset. It's a weapon. And you got to avoid fouling this team. It's really that simple. They are the top team in the league in terms of free throw percentage because they don't want to waste any chances to cash in from the line. Alvarado, left side. It's stolen by Beverly. And now the Sixers on the break. Yes, it's good. And now it's a 10-point Philadelphia lead. And, you know, Beverly made his name with his defense. I mean, a clever player uses his quick hands to steal the rock. He also is physical and disruptive. Daniels, that one's true. Such a graceful move, showing off the floater game. Philadelphia has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Beverly outside. Martin, the pass to Beverly. Morris on the wing. The shot. The Pelicans pull it in. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Daniels. Down to five on the shot clock. Launches a three. Gets the three ball to go. And now just a five-point 76ers lead. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. He gets it in there. Melton's gotten his second bucket of the game. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. They get it again. 
Pass to Hawkins. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Beverly outside. Shoots from 14. And it's Hawkins with a rebound. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. And another basket for New Orleans. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Now here's Melton. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. Boy, what a brain neutral pass that was. I hope he learns from that one. My goodness. The Sixers leading. Well, Clark, it's nice to have a guard like DeAnthony Melton who takes care of business on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I love that about him. Old school two-way guard, VA. He can make shots, he can make plays, but he also can defend. And he does it all with the level of professionalism and focus that you like to see. Here's Hawkins. Five points in the game. On the wing, Daniels. And stolen by Melton. On up the court. That's good from Beverly. The assist from Melton. And the 76ers lead by four. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the 76ers. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. I also like the fact that they've been able to block quite a few shots so far. A testament to hard work and good positioning on the defensive end. Reed inside. Alvarado defending. It's stolen. On the wing, Daniels. And again, no good by New Orleans. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And Beverly gets it to go. Beverly doing a really nice job squaring up from the mid-range, and he'll make Alvarado outside. Pass to Daniels. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. Hawkins comes up empty down low. Philadelphia has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Melton outside. On the take. The kick out to Morris. And the three off target. The Pelicans trail. Here's Daniels. He's got five. Pass to Hawkins. 19-footer. Yep, that one goes. Hawkins has got seven. Seven seconds left in the opening quarter. From deep, Melton. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. It's been all about Tobias Harris for Philadelphia. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. More 2K action in just a moment. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? That's <laughs> simple. Offensively, they limited their turnovers. Defensively, they forced turnovers. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. And here's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. Four-point game. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Trey Murphy out there with Larry Nance. And then there's C.J. McCollum. Then it's Herb Jones. And it's Hawkins in a shooting guard. That's the Pelicans' five as we get into the second quarter. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. 
Outside Jones. To the middle. Dance against Harris. Four on the clock. Here's Jones. A rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Outside Maxi. To the wing, right side. Batum outside. Pass to Embiid. Oh, nice job, Embiid. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Hawkins, covered by Covington. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here we go, the Sixers on the break. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. The free throw drops for Harris. Capable of playing both the three and four spots, Harris's versatility is his greatest strength. Picked by Williamson. McCollum finds Williamson. Now here's Jones. McCollum with it. Guarded now by Maxey. Here's Williamson. Here's Ingram. And the Pelicans miss again. Great defensive effort to lock down the paint. Impressive work protecting the basket. He held his ground nicely on that one. Maxi passes to Batum. Pass to Embiid. Shot clock at six. Embiid! What determination! It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. The Pelicans have gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Ingram on the wing. Pounded by Harris. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to McCollum to halt the run. Their offense isn't helping them tonight. Too many missed opportunities. All right, let's get a report from Allie. C.J. McCollum sometimes gets overlooked, but he said, quote, I just do my job. It's about team success. I'm going to be more efficient and more consistent. I'm going to make plays, make shots, and try to help us win. Brian? He's a great team leader, has a great perspective on his place in the game. Thanks, Allie. Here's McCollum. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Here's Ingram. And he converts the layup. Ingram's got his second basket of the night. I think it's critical that Ingram's confidence continues to grow. I mean, and I think possessions like that will only help him moving forward. Now here's Maxi. He has seven. Harris misses. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. McCollum with it. Guarded now by Maxi. From nine feet out, Williamson with the bucket. Williamson's got eight. Excellent work inside from Williamson. This is why he's so aggressive down there. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. And the Pelicans call time here. The Pelicans making a switch here. Valanchunas has checked in. And let's have a look at the teams who have collected the most blocks this season. Fifth best, the 76ers. They're quick to help each other, and they have some tremendous athletes with a nose for the ball.
New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Harris against Ingram. And he lobs it up to the rim. And stolen by Covington. Here's Harris. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. He's got 15. Nice job finding the open teammate that time. What a pass right there from Embiid. Puts one up from 19. Yep, that one's good. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Batum outside. Batum sets a screen. Outside Maxi. Clock at six. Covington, a screen on McCullum. For three, Maxi. The Pelicans pull it in. Williamson passes to Ingram. Outside Jones. And here is Williamson. And there's a three-second violation. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. Taking a look at the Pelicans, it's still very early, but they have a mountain to climb in their conference. Checking out the Pelicans, when you look at their roster, they're talented enough to turn this thing around. But so far, the season has not come together for them the way people predicted. Yeah, that's the sense you get, isn't it? I mean, the important thing is that they don't panic here. Stick to the basics and work out of this slump without trying to do too much at one time. Now here's Batum. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. Embiid inside. Valanchunas on him. Embiid can't hit. Valanchunas passes to McCollum. The three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. McCollum's got his second bucket of the night. Outstanding decision making by Ingram there. Working it to the open man. Really good possession. Maxi against McCollum. Now here's Embiid. The D's right on him. For three, Maxi. The Sixers with another miss. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be. But so far, that's not been the case. Williamson finds Valanchunas. Pass to Jones. Now McCollum shoots over Maxi, and it's McCollum. That time on the assist from Jones. McCollum's got five points now this quarter. For Philadelphia, they've gone six of 11 here in the second quarter. Outside Covington. Here's Embiid. Shoots over Valanchunas. Rejected by Valanchunas. Now you got to be aware when Valanchunas is in the area. He's capable of sending your shot back. Williamson inside. Guarded by Batum. Williamson passes to Valanchunas. Maxi against McCullum. Pulls up. High post. Again, the Pelicans. Good for two. Oh, my. Sinking yet another mid-range jumper. And Philadelphia calls time here. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. Beverly outside. Back to Martin. They still need this. And he connects with a jumper. Martin's got his first points in this one. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. And just the thought of Kenyon Martin Jr. Man, where does the time go, Clark? It races by. You know that. I remember his dad putting up 51 points in the Ohio High School Finals. 
that was a state record does not seem like that long ago. Seventy sixers on D. Pass to Daniels. Nance with a screen on Melton. Daniels passes to Nance. And Nance with the slam. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Connects from downtown. Yeah, love seeing Beverly shoot off the pick there. I mean, all he needs is a sliver of daylight. Pass to Alvarado. Back to Daniels. Six to shoot. Over Melton. Daniels misses. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Here's Martin. Nance pulls down the board. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Low shot on the way. Rebound by the 76ers. Here's Reed. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Morris on the wing. Using his post moves to get the two points. And the 76ers lead by nine. Here's Daniels. Melton covers. Valanchuna sets a screen. And again, no good by New Orleans. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. Reed passes to Beverly. Here's Morris. He's guarded by Nance. A oh, nice shot by Morris. Morris has got four points in the quarter. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to Nance. Here's Hawkins. Nance with a screen on Martin. Here's Hawkins. They get the rebound on the wing. Daniels. Alan Chuna sets a screen. Daniels, that one's true. Daniels has got his third bucket of the night. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Beverly outside from deep Melton. Pelicans cleared away. That's how you stay connected to a shooter was right in his jersey. There's a screen. On the wing, Daniels. Beverly defending. Daniels passes to Alvarado. Here's Hawkins. Alan Junis with it. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Martin takes it in. Morris outside. Floats one up. Martin, the pass to Reed. Now here's Beverly. A deep three. Rebounded by Daniels. The Pelicans trail. Valanchunas with a screen on Melton. Daniels passes to Valanchunas. Here's Hawkins. He's guarded by Martin. The fader. And Reed pulls it down. Reed, four rebounds in the game. Melton left side. And that's not going to go. And that concludes the first half. The Sixers on top, up by eight. All right, now let's check. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this.
Hey there, everyone. This game has been a real showcase for Tobias Harris so far. Hey, guys, does it, does it feel like it's warm in the studio to you? I'm always warm. I run hot. It's probably because of your shackritis. Says the man who hurts so bad he walks like a duck. I don't talk like a duck. And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the 76ers. When we talk about underrated scorers in this league, Tobias Harris has to come up. All he does is go out there and get 20 points a night, and he's not a ball-dominant player. No, not at all. Tobias is a great complimentary player. He works in any system. Unlike you, Kenny, you should have been fired already. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Boy, you look at Tobias Harris in this game. He's been everywhere. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Here's Williamson. Second half underway. Here's who Nick Nurse has got on the floor. Robert Covington is out there with Nicholas Batum. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the two spot. If you look back on Sixers history, the list of legendary big men is a long one. Exactly, B.A. And let me tell you this. Embiid's name is right there near the top of that list. You know, you think about the likes of Chamberlain, Moses Malone, those guys certainly on the list. Embiid joining them, that says a lot. with the Pelicans so many of the past few years have started with such high hopes. Yeah, B.A., and at the end of every season, it feels like there's a big what-if hanging over New Orleans. They haven't been able to catch many breaks in recent years. Batum against Ingram. Harris outside. Pass to Maxi. Five to shoot. Gets the three to fall. Maxi's got ten points in the game. Zero hesitation, Maxi. Great confidence in his mechanics and his work. Covington against Williamson. Over Covington. Batum pulls it in. The Sixers leading. And here's Harris. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. It's Embiid going to work inside. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. For three, McCullum. No, he's now four for eight shooting. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Maxi against Jones. Embiid is screen on Jones. For three, Maxi. The Pelicans pull it in. Jones finds Ingram over Harris. And Ingram gets it to go on the assist from Jones. Well, you look at the form on Ingram's catch-and-shoot jumpers. It's um, textbook. He's got excellent posture. His hands are in a good position. And most importantly, he's ready to shoot it when he catches it. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. McCullum against Maxey. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Not on target. Four for nine in this one. The 76ers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Embiid. And that one drops. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. Williamson with a screen on Harris. 
And the officials will call the illegal screen here. And these are the guys that continue to come through from the charity strike. Tyrese Maxey, third. He's not a guy you want to foul. He's so calm at the line. Sinks his free throws with ease. For Philadelphia, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. To the paint. Here's Harris. The kick out to Maxey. Embiid a screen on McCollum. Maxey passes to Covington. On target from range. Covington's got his first three points of the game. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Here's Williamson. And it's Harris with the rebound. Good offense beats good defense. Not always. Pass to Embiid. Covington, a screen on Valanchunas. Back to Harris. Williams grabs the board. Williamson's got five rebounds tonight. Now here's Valanchunas, covered by Covington. McCullum outside. Pass to Williamson from the arc. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. He has such an impressive night for Zion. He has the ability. McCollum against Maxey. And here's Embiid. Rebounded by Ingram. Outside Jones. Here's Valanchunas. Pass to Williamson. McCullum with it. Clock at six. Three-pointer, no good. Outside Maxey. Covington, a screen on McCullum. Maxey against McCullum. Picked by Covington. For three, Maxey. That's good. And now he's five for 11 in this one. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. Taking a look at Philadelphia, in second now, but wanting to claim that top seed. When I look at the 76ers, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. It appears to me, though, that this group has all the ingredients for a special season. On the wing, Jones. The three. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. McCollum's got his third assist of the night. Philadelphia has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Embiid finds Maxi. The three is up. Here's Embiid. Oh, Embiid punishing the basket. Boxing out Embiid has to be a focal point for them, or else they'll continue to eat him up on the offensive glass. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. And they're top five in preventing points. They have a number of guys who can defend multiple positions, and they work well together as a unit. And you got to avoid fouling this team. It's really that simple. They are the top team in the league in terms of free throw percentage because they don't want to waste any chances to cash in from the line. Pass to Maxi. Up and over McCollum. Maxi, that's good. Maxi's got eight points here in the quarter. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. 
Zion Williamson is a one-man wrecking crew inside. His coach, Willie Green, said, quote, it's incredible his touch when he gets down to the lane with two, three guys hanging on him, and he's still somehow able to find the glass, and he does a great job of finding his teammates as well. And, Brian, let's not forget about those dunks either. Oh, definitely not. That's the show. Thanks, Allie. Maxi passes to Embiid. Pass to Harris. Five o'clock. Back to Embiid. The three. Covington. The Pelicans pull it in. Ingram's got four rebounds now. From 17. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Maxi with it. McCullum covering. Oh, got a piece of it. And stolen by Jones. Williamson passes to McCullum. They set the pick. Pass to Ingram. McCullum outside. And another three for New Orleans. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the 76ers going with a whole new group out there. Philadelphia has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Now here's Melton. Defense right on him. Martin a screen. Beverly into the lane. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got his second basket on the night. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Williamson misses. The 76ers have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. Here's Reed. Yet to see a basket. Beverly outside. Unloads. Drained it for points. And the 76ers lead by 13. And you know, Beverly continues to develop that jump shot of his. I mean, it looks better and better with each passing game. Credit to his hard work. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Nance, he's checked in for New Orleans. Beverly, the pass to Morris. Tries it from the block. It's not going to go for him. The Pelicans have gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Here's Daniels. Melton covers. Pass to Hawkins. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. And the Pelicans miss again. The 76ers shooting has been good. 54% on this one. Oh, got that one up quick. Morris has got six points. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. Daniels passes to Nance. Here's Hawkins to win the cold spell. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Reed's got six rebounds in the game. Now here's Martin. Not a lot of room. The slam. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. 
I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. Morris down low. Six points for him. Yeah, that one's good. Give him eight. It's obvious they've taken fewer threes here in the second half and are focused on having a more balanced offensive attack. Daniels passes to Nance. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, man. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him ladder climber. Martin misses. New Orleans has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Driving in. A nice shot by Hawkins. We've got 123 left in the third quarter of the game. Now here's Beverly. Alvarado defending. Beverly, the pass to Morris. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Alvarado. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on Patrick Beverly. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. The way they've been able to consistently get past the defense and to the cup has been most impressive. They've almost made it look pedestrian. And we've also seen them attack from the post. A lot of key possessions have ended with them scoring on the block. And the first one at the line is good. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Nance. Good on the second one. And he makes all three. 54 seconds left in the third. Morris sets a screen. Beverly, the pass to Morris. Beverly outside. Morris on the wing. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Here's Daniels. Melton covers. From 13, Daniels. That one's true. Daniels has got 10 points. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Beverly outside. And he comes up with a bucket. And the 76ers lead by 12. Tremendous. from the little man Patrick Beverly there fires for three Daniels misses now Morris Martin outside from deep Melton oh it would have counted had it fallen but it is offline and so it's the Philadelphia 76ers now holding a 12 point lead at quarter's end how about the way they back the paint this throwback approach is paying off. Back to the game after this break. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for the 76ers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Brandon Ingram out there with Herb Jones. 
Then there's C.J. McCollum. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Hawkins in at the two. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Covington, no good. Pelicans shooting at a decent clip. 45% for the game. Beverly with a steal. Batum outside. Covington finds Harris. Screen by Embiid. Clock at four. Here's Covington. Alan Tunis with a rebound. Alan Tunis has got his fifth rebound in this one. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. Here's McCollum. Oh, Covington with a block. Covington's reach, the length of his arms really coming in handy when he goes up to block shots like that. Beverly, the pass to Harris. Out to the right wing. Harris a screen. Here's Batum. Knocks down the triple. Batum's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on D. Pass to Valentunas. And here's McCollum. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Off the pass, McCollum can be instantaneous. He doesn't think. He just shoots. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Embiid passes to Batum. Good. And the assist to Embiid. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Here's Hawkins, hounded by Harris. There's McCullough with the three. Covington grabs the board. Covington's got four rebounds now. McCullum against Beverly. Batum outside. Pass to Embiid. For three, Covington. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Alan Tunis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside Ingram. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. Zion Williamson has checked in for the Pelicans. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Beverly. Batum against Jones. Shot clock at six. Alan Chuna sets a screen. Jones misses. All he needed right there was simply to set himself up and then relax and shoot the ball. He threw himself off balance for no reason. Maxey passes to Covington. Now Embiid. Oh, they find the hot hand. You can count it. He's 10 for 14 now. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. New Orleans calls timeout. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. McCullum looking it over. Down low. Deflects the pass. Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. And giving them what they want, the incredible dunking ability of Zion on full display. Maxi with it. McCullum covering. Embiid against Williamson. 
from the line. Another shot. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Embiid's got 10 points in just the second half. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Harris passes to Maxi. Got it. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Outside Jones. Pass to Williamson. Over Covington. That's good from Williamson on the assist from Jones. Jones has got his third assist of the night. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. And the layup is good off the glass. Maxi's got four points this quarter. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Puts up a three. Nails it from three. Maxi's got 22. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. Maxi against McCullum. Here's Ingram. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCullum. McCullum's got four assists now tonight. Nice touch from Ingram on the jumper. No way anybody can stop that from going down. Embiid a screen on McCullum. And it's Maxi missing. The Pelicans have gone four for ten in the fourth. McCullum with a screen on Covington. Here's Williamson. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Batum, the pass to Maxi. Now here's Embiid. Oh, and a duck by Embiid. And you guys know JoJo loves busting out these dunks. What an athlete. McCollum with a screen on Covington. Williamson against Covington. Valanchunas down low. Excellent D there from Embiid. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Harris passes to Embiid. Goes back up. And he lays it up and in. Embiid's got 14 points here in the second half. Nothing new for Embiid here. Going off for a big scoring performance. Par for the course. Ingram on the wing. Over Harris. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got four points now in the quarter. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Embiid a screen on McCullum. Maxi passes to Covington. And here's Embiid. Valanchunas covering. Let's it go from 11. Again, the Sixers score. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Harris. Back to Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Check out how in sync Valanchunas is with the ball handler. They've clearly practiced that move plenty of times. Harris, a screen on McCollum. For three, Maxi. The Pelicans pull it in. Ingram's got five rebounds in the game. And Grant, with the idea of league expansion, some have worried in the past that there's not enough talent to go around. You see that? You know, quite the contrary, B.A. I mean, the league's in a terrific place for talent, and there's definitely the depth for more teams to join the fray. Maxi against McCullum. Now here's Embiid. He's covered closely. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Embiid's got 30 points. He's carried much of the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Ingram on the wing. Over Harris. 
And Joel Embiid pulls it down. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Harris finds Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Fade away. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got seven rebounds in the game. McCollum with it. Here's Jones. Ingram with the ball. Pounded by Harris. The jump hook. The shot. No good. Philadelphia's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Covington. Embiid against Valanchunas. Now here's Embiid. Defense is right there. The shot, no good. Nice D from Valanchunas. Ingram, the pass to Williamson. Harris against Ingram. Over Harris. And Ingram gets it to go on the assist from Williamson. Unselfish play there by Zion. Moving the ball to another shooter. Maxi passes to Covington. And here's Embiid. And per the most recent CBA, players now get to share in the league's licensing revenue, Clark. Yeah, you know, without superstar players, the league wouldn't make as much in licensing. I was glad to see the two sides come together on this issue. It's a delicate one, but I think they landed in a good spot. To the left wing. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the 76ers. And it was a big time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Joel Embiid. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what, and they got it done. Counted from distance. Since being traded in 2019, Brandon Ingram has really increased his three-point attempt. His percentages have gone up, too. And it's Beverly on the drive. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas. I mean, with his height and size, stopping Valanchunas just isn't an option sometimes. <laughs> what a jam. Now here's Beverly. So it's the 76ers winning this one easy. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.